are reduced. We got the light right away. So we got a bridge. Step on it real quick. Why didn't come back on? going on gang it's your boy Taz right back with another video man y'all can see me back at the Z01 man if you didn't watch the last vlog we had a problem at the end of the vlog man yeah I told you I'm gonna just pick it back up on the next vlog so I'm gonna let that bike go by y'all I knew he was gonna step on it but yeah um we back here the very next day trying to figure out what's going on so what happened was if you didn't watch the last vlog go ahead and click the link at the top of the screen or click the link in the description so y'all can see what happened we literally drove the car around yesterday just to make sure the car was fine because you know at the drag ship we had you know a few problems with it but yeah me and cj drove around yesterday uh the car was literally driving perfect i decided to go get more gas before we do another pull because i just feel like it was not safe to you know do some hard pulls you know with being low on gas like that so y'all can see me and cj literally ran around went to three four different stores to find some good 85 we finally found some e80 we put the gas in we drive up the street literally i want to say two minutes after getting gas y'all the check engine light came on and it said engine power reduced so i knew something was off y'all i seen that same cold at the track after we did that third pass before we left the track that day so uh yeah i knew something was off when i got home i ended up scanning the cold me and cj and uh i'm gonna drop a picture of the car right now so y'all can see but yeah pretty much uh that code when i searched it up online on the forum a lot of people was just saying it's a, uh for one it could be the oil pump which is a common thing with camaro z1s especially early z1s like 17s and 18s so uh i'm hoping that it's not the oil pump i did have oil pressure so i don't really think it's that unless it is going out another thing people were saying was it could be the oil pump sensor today what we're gonna do is man we're gonna really just start the the car up i'm gonna clear the cold and we just gonna go from there i'm gonna drive the car around see if the cold come back because if it does nine times out of ten y'all it's probably the oil pump or it could be just the sensor the oil pump sensor or oil pressure sensor is still on the oil pump so in order to replace the the sensor it's basically the same thing as replacing the whole pump because you do gotta pull the whole motor just to get there so i hope it's not nothing like that because y'all know pulling the motor can get expensive and y'all see we just got the car back not too long ago so i'm gonna start it up and i'm gonna try to eliminate all the options or eliminate all the factors you know and see what's really going on but what i was thinking was it could be something as simple as the tune it could be the actual oil pump going out or it could be the sensor like i said that's still gonna be pricey so that's what i'm hoping it's not three like i was saying i did my research and a lot of people were saying to check the fluids it could be bad oil dirty oil but y'all know when you get mods and when you take your car to performance shops they always check the oil and go over the oil so i really doubt that's the case so uh yeah man i'm gonna just start her up see if she start funny see if she running funny and um hopefully it's not the oil pump y'all know like i said that's a, a common thing with these cars so i really really hope that's not the the case but uh we're gonna start her up y'all we just gonna see how she start we're gonna watch the oil pressure if i don't got any pressure y'all that's what's going to be the problem so we're just gonna figure this out y'all one thing that's killing me right now is me not having that hp uh tuner device so i could send uh ed you know logs or you know he could just actually see what's wrong with the car instead of me taking it all the way to vat lab we're gonna start this thing up real quick thousand years later all right gang so far man it's looking pretty normal man like as i'm sitting here letting the car warm up i hit the gas you know just a little bit you know just to warm the car up a little faster and yeah it's getting to the normal to the normal spot so i'm gonna go ahead and back this thing out the garage real quick i'm gonna pop the hood i'm gonna check the oil I'm gonna really just do all the small things, you know, I can really do myself. Well, I'm gonna just cut the camera back on and I get this thing out the garage, man. I've been sitting over here for about a good 15, 20 minutes. This thing really haven't been acting weird, y'all. Uh, it's actually at the highest it's been, so 
It ain't like the oil pressure going down. So uh, what we're going to do is we take this thing for a spin. I'm going to let the GoPro get everything. So I'm going to put this vlogging camera down and I'm going to really just take her on a drive. I'm going to drive about 15, maybe 10, 15 minutes on the highway just to make sure everything is fine. Make sure the cold doesn't come back. Yeah, I'm going to just go from there. I and mean, if the cold come back, then I'm going to just drop the car off at the shop and really just let them figure it out. Because uh, from there, I know that it's going to be something if I clear the cold and then come back again. It's obviously going to keep coming back. So I got this GoPro right here for Ed so he can see, you know, the gauges. I'm going to clear the cold with this little scanner if I can. I'm going to see y'all on the highway after I get this cold cleared. So, so we're going to drive around and do some normal little pulls. And uh, I'm going to get on the highway do some normal highway speeds. And if the engine light don't come back on, I'm going to do a hard pull. we just going to go from there, y'all.
I said, I don't got an HP device. That should be coming tomorrow. I did it next day shipping, so until I get that HP device, I'm gonna have to keep sending videos to Ed, but uh, so far I'm in a car is normal, y'all. That's exactly why I do need that device, though. You know, I don't have to worry and I don't have to send my car all the way to, you know, to the shop. I can really just send him logs and just see everything, so hopefully by the next vlog, we got this, uh, this HP device so we can start logging the car, man, but might have to just wrap this up and call it a day unless that reduced engine light come back on on the way back home and if that happened y'all i would just cut the camera back on because that's really what happened last time that light didn't come on until after we beat on the car and it was i want to say an hour after we beat on the car so i'm gonna just call it good for now the car is running fine the gauges every gauge is normal we just gotta figure out what's going on with that tune or you know with my car at the drag strip because I know I can run a better time than that 10-4, y'all. If y'all haven't watched my last vlog at the track, I'ma leave that link in the description or at the top of the videos like I always do so y'all don't miss that. Cause me and CJ will be going back. Even though he cracking the nines, that's really my goal this year, y'all. I was saying I wanna run a 10-2, a 10-0 for my first day, but this year my goal is to crack the nines without a converter, y'all. If I get a converter, I know for a fact I can easily get in the nines. Cause I'm still close to getting in the nines, you know, with my car tweaking so well. Uh, as of now, the car is still running fine, so I just had to update y'all, man. You know, I gotta put everything on the video because uh, I feel bad and I feel stupid. You know, I gotta start a vlog one day, oh, the car broke down, and y'all don't know why, and y'all didn't see, you know, what happened. So, with that being said, man, your boy checking out, man. 